Does the recent Supreme Court decision overturning Roe versus Wade affect your estate plan? Well, the bad news is that regardless of what your personal opinions on this issue are, this actually this decision may actually affect your estate plan in a couple of different ways. I'm Philip Bluestein with Rocky Mountain Wills and Trusts, and I wanted to just go over very quickly some things that you should be thinking about and reasons you may need to update your estate plan. First, there are really two areas that go that that this could affect. The first area has to do with uh, in vitro fertilization. More and more people are doing uh, in vitro fertilization uh, or other types of family planning that involve the freezing of embryos. Uh, depending on where those em frozen embryos are stored, if they're in a state uh, which has specific laws regarding uh, uh, the, the rights and your rights and the disposal of those, you may have some issues and then that also impacts your estate plan in, in terms of what happens if you pass away and those, those are still there. So that's one big issue. Uh, another one has to do obviously with uh, uh, travel of pre and, and pregnant women. If you're pregnant and you travel to a state where the laws are different, if, you're in an, if you have an injury, if you have a problem, uh, you may only have certain uh, options available to you that you might not, that you would otherwise have in your own home state. So for example, here in Colorado, we have certain options available to us and that we don't have laws right now prohibiting uh, certain types of decisions by, by women regarding uh, their health and, and pregnancy. However, if you travel to a state uh, where there are laws that do affect that uh, and that do address that, and if you have an injury or something like that, then you will have, you will likely have fewer decisions under the law. So it's just something to think about and what you want to do in terms of, of preparing for and having things in order and what you might want to do, uh, uh, have in place in case there's an issue. Now, the other big area uh, that uh, this can be, this may, we may see an effect on this has to do more with the underlying basis of the decision. I won't go into all the details on that, uh, but the decision is in large part based on what's something called substantive due process. Uh, and it's uh, very clear that there are certain Supreme Court justices who would like to overturn other decisions that are based on substantive due process. Without going into the details, that just has just another way of uh, derivative rights and how we figure out our rights are. But what that means too is if you're in a, a, a same-sex marriage, uh, then those things could very quickly uh, be on the table as to whether or not your estate planning is going to be effective. So a state may or may not recognize in the future, depending on the laws that we come up and what the Supreme Court decides, and they may or may not recognize a same-sex marriage depending on where you are, which means in the estate plan where you're relying on the, on the government, you know, if you don't have a will or a trust, if you're relying on those for transfer of assets to uh, a same, uh, same-sex partner, then uh, uh, that may not be available. There are also other issues regarding healthcare powers of attorney and whether or not uh, you will be able to uh, have a same-sex partner uh, just without a healthcare power of attorney, uh, be able to make healthcare decisions and those kinds of things. Um, that's the way it used to be. Uh, now, not so much, but we could see a return to that and actually it could happen very quickly because, because it does seem very much like there are some states who are gonna wanna challenge that. Again, this is not about your personal opinions or my personal opinions on this issue. This is just what we see as the pos possible consequences of the change in this law. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I also uh, want to make sure that people are looking at their estate plans. If you have questions about how this may affect or you want to affect you or, or other protections you might want to put in place in light of this decision, uh, give us a call 720-420-1777. Rocky Mountain Wills and Trusts is our, is our website and that's our firm. So give us a call. We'd be happy to speak with you, discuss your estate plan. Uh, and see if we need to make any changes or if you don't have an estate plan and even if these issues don't apply to you, that's okay. Go ahead, give us a call. We'd be happy to assist you with your estate plan. Once again, I'm Philip Bluestein, and uh, uh, I hope this information has been helpful.